For years, chip shop owners have wondered what to do with their potato peelings. Robert Pierce, owner of Woodseats Fisheries in Sheffield, has come up with an ingenious way of shifting them, while at the same time helping the environment. He is having his spud peelings turned into biodegradable carrier bags, a much greener way of taking home your fish and chips. Robert decided to take action after realising that he gave away 2,000 plastic bags each month. So far, however, his potato starch alternatives have failed to catch on. When I contacted the local newspaper over that day to go vote to their readers over would you be prepared to pay 16 pence, which is what's the cost including that, would you be prepared to pay 16 pence for a bag by, you know, in the name of being environmentally friendly? And 94% said no. This unusual idea is one in a long line of alternatives provided to limit plastic bag use. Waitrose are among the supermarkets encouraging shoppers to help the environment by choosing their bag for life over a normal plastic one. These solutions are needed for a society that uses 10 to 12 billion plastic bags every year. But with an increasing number of alternatives at their disposal, do the shoppers of Sheffield think that they should be abolished? I think you should have to pay for them and then the money that you pay should go to like a charity to help the environment. Abolish is perhaps a little extreme, but yes, I think we ought to reduce the amount that we use, yeah. Yeah, if we want to save the planet, we've got to do something now. With each plastic bag taking around a thousand years to decompose, local groups are calling for shoppers to play their part in saving the environment. There's a good case for just saying stop giving free plastic bags away. And uh, if people want them, they should pay for them, really, and then they might look after them a bit more carefully. But, uh, but I think that in the long term, it would be good to get rid of them completely. And... Um, and, and everybody should just go shopping with a, with a few cloth bags in their, uh, in their yeah. bag. While convenience shoppers may disagree, it seems as though the death of the plastic bag is imminent. It may only be a matter of time before we see them removed from our shops altogether. One thing's for sure, unusual alternatives such as these certainly have bags of potential. I'm Rob Setchell, reporting for Just News.